Hi, Skinny. Is Nick here? And behind me is Mr. Hollywood. Pew, pew. So we have had a super fun afternoon of a power outage. <laughs> Jamison? Um, not only did my power oh, yeah. go out, which we run pellet grills, so that's never fun, but the actual switch for the house broke. <laughs> so I had to call an emergency electrician what out. Great guy Brad was. <laughs> uh, and get the, um, the actual switch replaced <laughs> on the house as well. We, we were sitting there relaxing, having a great old time, and then all the lights went out. We both looked like, at each other like, well, that's, that's not, not a great day. That's never good. But um, no, we got it fixed very quickly. Which literally the only downside to pellet grill cooking is that you rely on power. Absolutely. And I don't have a generator. The generator's at Grant's house. I couldn't get into the little Weber kettle. Um, so we were a little bit behind schedule. But this is why we talk about resting, f aiming to rest for two to four hours Give versus, yourself. you know, one hour. Because yep. if things go wrong or if you're cooking a particularly tough brisket that just won't come to temperature and stuff like that yeah it gives you that wriggle room for service 100 percent. so thing, you don't want to be rushed at the end right no so you want to give yourself plenty of time yep. yep and and the worst thing is having family going where's dinner it was meant to be on the table Mom. an hour ago Mom. um versus well dinner was ready a little bit earlier it's being kept nice and warm like a baby like a beard and now i can whip it out and no no stress whip it out shove so, it in. <laughs> We're not week? shoving it in in this video. We're not shove it in. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around. To me? To the pretty one. Okay, so this is my pretty thermometer. So this is an instant read thermo pen. We talk about like uh, temperature checking all the time. Um, temperature is important, but probing is um, probably more important. Probing. You want it to probe like butter. Shove it in. <laughs> shove it, it in, probe it. Probe it in, probe it. Blah, blah. So this thing here, um, this magical little pen, that they call it the thermo pen. You'll see that it has this kind of temperature read. It's different to the one that sits on the um, Traegers or on your grills or your meters. It tends to sit in there reading an ambient temperature for one location. I'll use this probe to A, check the temperature is round about what the guide says, but then I'll also test it to make sure that it goes in nice and soft. Um, the cool thing about this is it comes pre-calibrated. It does. Um, they're actually the, the um, considered the best... Um, in the world, and this one is a one second one. So that gives it gives you a calibrated temperature reading within one second. It has my custom color. That's actually mine. Is it? But that's okay. Which one's mine? The black one. Oh, that's what she said. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look. The moment of truth. We don't like to unpack our babies unless We've it's... got no idea what it looks like, guys. It better be good. I hope it's good. Of course it's good! Holy dooly! Do you even risk it, bro? Yum. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Check Are you happy? I'll have a look. I don't want to like, show the temperature. I'll give it a time. To, oh yeah, I won't show the temperature, but I'll, I'll do it from reverse. So we just sort of see. Oh wow. I think she's a done. She is uh, cooked. Happy? I'm really happy. But now I've got to do this really, really critical thing, which is a little bit more dangerous. We have got a little bit of liquid here. Do you want to shut the pit while we actually talk about the um, how to yeah, wrap? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll talk about that liquid in a second. So all I've done here is I've got a little table next to me. It's always nice to have something. Card table, you know, your outdoor table. We were playing like poker. We were playing poker. If anyone saw the post earlier, um, I won. Um, we're going through round two at the moment. Did you win though, so actually? We, you you didn't bucks. win, actually. I won and now... now. I don't think the crybaby was Nice really. try. I, I actually, I actually won, just for the record. Okay. Nice try. Thanks, Hello, Queen. So what I've got here is I've got a couple of sheets of foil that I've just kind of put on top of this table. You can see them here, I've got one under the other. What so, I'm, going to, I'm going to pick up my brisket, I'm going to put it out here, and yep. I'm going to cover it completely, like I would if I was doing the Texas Crunch. And so once again, we talk about the quality of the foil. Yeah, so last time we talked about the fact that we're using this kind of um, catering grade. Ultra fit catering. Catering grade um, foil. Uh, if you've only got the real thin stuff, just use extra sheets. That's like the main five, five, five to six, six. yeah. Exactly, exactly. But the main thing here is I want to capture... Um, I want to make sure I don't spill anything when I'm moving it. Then when I wrap it up in this, I'm going to let it sit and rest and absorb those juices as it cools. Now, it's going to cool to a temperature that's still very, very hot over the next two to four hours. Um, we're only going to cool for about an hour. You don't have to do it for very long. Um, you could actually rest it on the bench for half an hour and then be ready to go. We've but personally found, though, the best, result, the best results was resting for four hours. Yeah, two to four is the best. Yeah. Yeah. So what I've got here on the outside of that is a couple of old towers. Sorry, Patrick. These uh, are just so old beach towels. <laughs> um, and so what we're going to do is they're going to become an insulation layer so that I can put them into like a dry space, like a turned off oven or an esky that hasn't got any ice in it. Make sure the esky is kind of not cold. All right. 
So that's it. So first of all, I'm going to move this thing, all right? So um, on his hands, we have hot gloves, guys. So we've actually got cotton gloves under there. And then so if um, use your oven latex gloves, like that, but you can protection. get thermal insulated gloves as well. You can. Um, just be really, really careful Barbecues because the and places like that have the beautiful yeah. ones. And ideally, for people cooking at home, you wouldn't be wearing short sleeves like Grant is. You'd be wearing long sleeves yep. because he's very used to doing this and not making sure that no um, hot oil spills out. But things like this can happen where you do actually ruin get tattoos. Absolutely, ruin tattoos. Yes. So it is hot oil. Yeah, you it's super it's hot. At Ninety-eight degrees or thereabouts. Um, I know there's a question online earlier about the temperature, the briskets for internal. Once you get to that bit where you think, man, this thing's not going anywhere, give it a little extra time. But if you are in a rush, probe it to make sure that probes nicely, and you might find that your brisket's done a little bit earlier, okay? There shouldn't be much resistance at all. It really should feel like butter, but not fall apart. Later on when we cut it, you'll tell, we'll take it out of the, the uh, moisture, and we'll drop it on the bench, and it should have the brisket jiggle. Yeah. You can do the brisket jiggle later. Okay? Uh, no. All right, so you can see here, Come out nice and easy. Um, I'm just going to turn it off for a sec. So it doesn't blow in my face. I've got a little bit of liquid flowing right here. You can see that it's kind of already risen up. Now we only put, you know, like less than a cup yeah. of liquid in here. And so it's already lost a lot of its own liquid and juice. Is there something I can be doing to help? So you've got to be really careful at this point, guys. At this point is where your foil can actually split or break because it sticks to the grates. Exactly. exactly. And so you just got to be, you just got to be really careful. I'm 100 careful. And it's okay to lose a bit of that juice because there's still heaps and heaps and heaps in here. All right. So now what's? Oh my goodness! It smells so good. It is really good. So I'm just going to grab this up so I can secure that boat. So that's nice and easy, wrapped up beautifully. Okay, so he's nice and safe in the middle there. Are you being very careful not to ruin the bark? I don't so you're creating more like a little cocoon for him. What's happened is, since we've opened this up, you can see that the air's already started to hit it. Now, a good idea is to just leave it sitting here as the steam rises, and just give it 30 seconds to a minute, just to let that cooking stop. Because this thing's been cooking in there for hours and hours and hours, and it's so hot, that liquid's so hot, so we just leave it open for a couple of minutes. We're going to let that air just blow off it a little bit. Yeah, you can see the steam's kind of puffing out yeah, occasionally. Puffing out. That bark might sweat off a little, but you can see here, if I just open it, it up. It smells so good. There. That bark's not coming off. No. I can't break that bark off. No. But now we want this thing to rest up. We're going to wrap it up. So be very careful to make sure the juices won't lost off the side there. I'm going to come along here and try and secure this as best I can. Come we on. definitely want to keep those juices because if you can't eat a whole brisket in one sitting, yes, that, that juice. leftover juice is amazing for reheating. It pretty much reconstitutes the meat beautifully. So you can see here, put it nice and wrapped it's up. It's got like a nice little bear bend. None of that juice is going to fall out. No, and if it does, I've got a towel wrapped around it anyway. It's not going to ruin your precious stuff. If you are concerned, um, you could just get an alfoil um, tray to put it into or even one of your metal ones or a shaping dish, a shaping tray. And then boop. And then boop. Boop. And boop. And boop. And now she's a pretty little baby that can rest all on the bench up. or into a nice space, which we're going to do in a turn. So we're going to put her into the oven. We're going to put her into your old oven. Her or him? Uh, it's a her when it started. Now it's a him because it's all Now it's a him because he's all like... Come on, bloody. Let's go. All right, perfect. You ready to go? Yep. Follow me if you want to live. You want to open that door for me? It's open. Everything's open. all ready to go. Oh, you're a champion. What a champion you are. I know. Ooh. Even the oven's open and ready to go. Is the building site? Yeah. Do you guys want a sneak peek of the kitchen? <laughs> ah. Ah, there we are. Sorry, I got a shot of your butt then. Sorry. Did you? Yeah. Lucky girls. <laughs> sell more books. Shop.skinnymixers.com. Yeah, exactly. Holly and Hollywood's brisket. Only fans, Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know what that is actually. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, so we just basically <laughs> have. Did you just use the foot? Yeah. Jeez, you're very, very capable, are you? Thanks. <laughs> um, turned off oven. It's um, really turned off. It's super. It's not actually even plugged in. Uh, All that is is about a nice, dry, temperature-stable space. Yes. Yeah. Um, so is there anything else you want to talk about with wrapping and stuff, Mr? No, Holman? I think the brisket thing, I think, is done. We might want to think about what you're going to have with it. You know, I think that's probably one of the things we can look at in the So book. when we're cutting it up in about an hour, 100%. we can talk through maybe some, some things to share. My hair is looking shocking. Is some a, things to share. I think it's light. It's getting better light. Oh, shit, dude. We can't look crap. Ugh. Ugh. 
No one wants to see that. Yucky. <laughs> um, so trim back in an hour, skinnies. Ideally, we would prefer to rest our brisket for at least two hours, yeah. but we, um, uh, you know, Grant's got to get home to his, his um, family and my kids are coming home as well. So tune back in one hour. It's off to the pub. I wish. Tune back in one hour and we are going to show you this, um, this brisket that we Super have been slices. cooking all day. Love you guys. Cool.